We are monitoring Tropical Storm K and the impact it will have here in San Diego. ABC 10 News meteorologist Megan Perry has the latest conditions. Megan. Yeah, so it was just downgraded from a Category 1 hurricane to a tropical storm. It's still a major storm, though, so don't think that just because it's been downgraded, this changes anything. We are still on track for this storm system to hug the coast of Baja and bring us quite a bit of rain and wind as we head into tomorrow. So the winds are now at 70 miles per hour, and this system is moving north-northwest right along Baja at about 14 miles per hour. Greatest impact as far as rain is looking like 7 to 9 a.m. tomorrow through 8 a.m on Saturday. Wind is going to be the major concern tomorrow as well. We're looking at widespread gusts 50 to 80 miles per hour and rainfall totals of one to four inches and locally in the mountain and desert areas up to eight inches of rainfall. So have we seen a hurricane or a tropical cyclone here in San Diego in the past? Yes, we have. We actually have seen. So these are the historical tracks of several hurricanes, tropical storms. The bigger the line, the stronger the storm that have actually the center of the low pressure system actually did roll into Southern California. But in more recent years, within the last 10 years, we've actually been impacted by several storms that actually didn't even reach us, ones that maybe you recall. So in 2018, Rosa and Sergio brought widespread rain and a lot of thunderstorm activity, and just like we expect with Kay, a lot of desert flooding. In 2017, we had showers and strong easterly winds with Lydia. That's what we're expecting tomorrow. Those easterly winds, those Santa Ana like winds. And then also in 2015, I remember this one so clearly because we were at Pride and it was pouring and thunderstorming like crazy. That was widespread rain from Lid Linda and we also felt Blanca and Dolores in June and July of 2015. So what makes a hurricane? Hurricanes typically like water temperatures at 80 degrees or higher. Are we seeing that? No, but it's warm enough. We're seeing those warmer ocean water temperatures as expected farther to the south of us in Baja. It is the steering winds and slightly cooler temperatures in the water that is going to steer this storm system away from us. So hurricane hunters, crazy people fly through these hurricanes and the latest one actually this is the last one before the last one I don't have the data for the most recent one because the most recent one shows that 70 miles per hour but 75 miles per hour was earlier so what makes it a hurricane or a tropical storm or a tropical depression so if you're in the North Atlantic or the North Pacific us here in America we call them hurricanes if they have wind 74 miles per hour or higher it's a tropical storm if it's just shy of that and that's where we're in that right now we're in that 70 mile per hour zone and then below 38 miles per hour it's a tropical depression if you're in the western pacific like japan they're called typhoons and my favorite in australia i think they named them right they're actually called willy willies so what does it look like when you're talking about a category one hurricane versus a category three hurricane they're all bigger storms than anything we've experienced here even a tropical storm but a category one hurricane can bring those winds up to 95 miles per hour and i want to emphasize that even though this is a tropical storm Storm, we are going to see the potential for wind gusts in that 70 to 80 mile per hour range. So we are going to be seeing heavy rain, wind, and thunderstorms with this system. I'll pinpoint the watches and warnings in effect for this system in your Super 7 Day forecast.